Всем привет! Hello everyone, welcome back to my oil painting video. Today I learned a new Russian word. Счастливого Рождества. Merry Christmas to everyone. So, this is Evelina. Today I want to talk about how I did this beautiful portrait, especially about the importance of background and why it matters. So before I forget, if you guys want to get a painting like this, you can go to my website www.amadelu.com there is a how to order page and just fill in the contact form there and I'll get back to you in one or two working days. So back to the painting. Right off the bat, I'm gonna sketch this first and in the sketching process I'm using burnt umber with no additional medium. Just burnt umber straight from the tube. The pen feels thicker because it has no medium but this is good because I can sketch more precisely. Unlike my previous paintings, I did it with OMS, and the paint is runny and hard to control. And the best thing about it is that my room doesn't get smelly, so if you guys for some reason are allergic to OMS, you can just paint straight from the tube. And although I said precisely, I sketched this one rather loosely, I try not to overthink anything, and just go for it. Okay, so normally, I start the painting from the face, but this time, I'm gonna start from the background. This is silly, actually this is harder than if I just start the painting from the face, so I don't recommend this approach. But you know that landscape painters usually start the painting from the background, think of it as layers. Sky first, which is in the very back, then the mountain in front of the sky, then the river in the middle, then the flowers in the front. So I thought, what if we start painting like that? So here I am with my silly experiment, but that is not the point today. The thing we want to learn today is why does background matter in portrait painting? Well, the best way to describe it is, think of the background as the room, where your subject is. And in this room, you can feel the atmosphere, the mood. Because I like to paint the background in a rather abstract way, I like to think of this mood in an abstract way too. Is it dark and moody? Perhaps the room is haunted or something? Watch your back. <laughs> or is it bright, majestic, angelic, like it's in heaven or floating above the sky? Do you want to create bokeh like in photography, or to focus flowers? Just like that, and we have established the mood of our painting. And it's very important to set the mood early and plan ahead because this will affect the subject as well. Don't paint blindly. You've got to have a proper plan. So do your homework. Do some thumbnail sketches first prior to the actual painting, so you have some ideas to work with. And also try the thing about the colour too. And in this portrait I chose pink as the main background colour. As to why I chose pink, that's because Yevelina here likes pink. So people always ask how to find ideas. How to get inspiration? Well, they are everywhere. The simplest way would be just look it up on the internet. See how other people do it. Or you can google some abstract images. Just search for abstract pink background, for example, and a bunch of interesting images will appear. Or you could just simply ask your model, just like I did. But don't follow it blindly. See if Evelina like black, that simply just won't work because Evelina here looks very gorgeous and endearing, and black will simply kill the mood. Then after you have the inspiration, you process it. You turn them into something that works for your portrait. This is difficult, especially if you're not good at visualizing things. So the key here is one skin, do thumbnail sketches. And the next thing you want to do is put some secondary color as well, so that it looks more interesting more colourful. Not everything should be in one colour. If you look at my painting, I'm leaving some areas white and grey from my previous layer. And if you're wondering, I use additional paint and this is permanent rose from winter. I really love this pigment. It works quite well with my titanium white. When I mix them together, it creates this beautiful red pink colour, which is perfect and this is exactly the look I'm looking for. As I've completed the background, it's time to paint the face. And this is another reason that background matters. 
when you have a good background, a good foundation, it is simply uplifting, inspiring, not to people who look at your painting, but more to you. As the artist, if you're in a good mood, then I believe you'll do a better job and the portrait will look better overall. So yeah, background matters a lot. And as you can see here, of course the face isn't looking great, doesn't look smooth. That's normal, because this is only the first layer of it. So if you don't know me, I work with many layers, glazing and scumbling, wet and dry. And at this point, I just want to block in the general colors. Even the ear doesn't look like ear, that's okay. So after the first layer is dry, then I'll do the second color layer. And with every layer I do, the painting will look smoother and more accurate. I talk more about my painting technique in my previous videos, how to start oil painting, the process from plucking in to painting hair, what color palette I use, so definitely check that out too if you guys are interested. So I'll leave you guys with my music for a moment here, and I'll talk again soon. Okay, so Portrait of Evelina is almost done here. This is just the final touches. I need to strengthen the highlights a little bit. And you can barely see the difference here. This is a good indication for me that the painting is almost done. Basically it says, hey, there is nothing you can do anymore. So go to the next area. This is me cleaning up some of the highlights and making it stronger. There are plenty of big white areas here. So cut to make sure it looks clean. I just paint over it with my titanium white. The process itself is very easy, but this little detailing stage is also very important. You definitely don't want to leave mistakes, only to realize when it's too late. So the last thing I need to do here is to make sure the eyes have enough contrast. I don't know what's going on here, but in reality, 
the eyes are darker, not light brown like in the video, but it's not black either, I don't use black paint. So just a couple more touches and I think this portrait is done. So here it is, Portrait of Evelina, completed. What do you guys think? Don't forget to visit my website www.amadaliu.com to order some paintings. Subscribe to the channel, like and comment, and I'll see you in the next painting video. Just leave our rest this